I greet you again, visitor, and welcome you to my YouTube channel, the only request I have of you is to watch 50 seconds, 1 minute of this video clip and according to the title you will definitely appreciate this posted clip. In the clip presented today I will talk slash explain about, Great White Shark vs Crocodile, Titans of the Waters in a Clash of Nature, in the Vast Kingdom of Nature, the Great White Shark, Carcaridon carcarias, and the Saltwater Crocodile, Crocodilus porosus, are two of the most formidable predators. Both occupy the top of the food chain in their respective environments, and the encounter between these two titans is a fascinating showdown of evolution and adaptability. Despite the fact that the great white shark and the saltwater crocodile live in different environments, they share certain traits, but also major differences that make them uniquely fearsome. In this video article we analyze in detail the biological characteristics, behavior, habitat and ecological interactions of the great white shark and the saltwater crocodile providing a complete picture of these two remarkable species. Biological Characteristics, White Shark The great white shark is one of the most well-known and studied shark species. It is an apex predator in the world's oceans, holding the title of king of sharks. It can reach a length of up to 6 meters and a weight of over 2,000 kilograms, although larger specimens have rarely been seen. Anatomy and Physique The great white shark has a spindle-shaped body, adapted for speed and efficiency in the water. Its powerful mandible is equipped with triangular, serrated teeth that are designed to cut through flesh and bone. Great white sharks also have an electroreceptor system called the ampullae of Lorenzini, which allows them to detect electric fields emitted by their prey. Reproductive system, the great white shark is viviparous, which means that the young develop inside the mother's body and are born alive. Females give birth to a small number of cubs, between 2 and 10, after a gestation period that can last up to 18 months. Digestive system and nutrition, great white sharks are opportunistic carnivores, feeding on large fish, seals, sea lions, and even small whales. Their digestion is relatively slow, allowing them to survive long periods without food. The Saltwater Crocodile the saltwater crocodile, also known as the poor man of the water, is the largest reptile in the world and one of the most powerful predators on the planet. It can reach lengths of up to 7 meters and weigh over 1,000 kilograms. Anatomy and Physique The saltwater crocodile has a robust body covered with hard scales that provide it with excellent protection. Its jaw is extremely powerful, with a bite force exceeding 3,700 kilograms, strong enough to crush large bones. Unlike the shark, the crocodile does not have serrated teeth, but its powerful bite makes its prey almost impossible to escape. Reproduction system, crocodiles are oviparous, laying eggs on land in nests built by females. Females protect the nests, and once the eggs hatch, they help the chicks get to the water. Digestive system and nutrition, crocodiles are also opportunistic carnivores, but their diet includes a wider variety of prey, including fish, birds, mammals, and other reptiles. Their digestive system is extremely efficient, allowing them to digest a wide range of tissues, including bones and shells. Habitat and Distribution The Great White Shark The Great White Shark prefers temperate and tropical waters and is often found in coastal areas and around islands where prey is abundant. The most frequented regions include the coasts of California, South Africa, and Australia, as well as the cold waters of the North Atlantic. White sharks are known for their long-distance migrations, following food sources and breeding cycles. The Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is best adapted to the coastal and estuarine habitats of Southeast Asia and Northern Australia. They are tolerant of salinity and can also be found in rivers, swamps and sometimes even in the sea. Crocodiles are territorially aggressive, occupying large territories that they defend against other crocodiles and predators. Behavior and Hunting Techniques The Great White Shark Great white sharks are solitary predators known for their swift and violent attacks. They use a combination of speed and strength to capture and immobilize prey. Great white sharks can reach speeds of up to 60 km per hour in the water and are able to jump completely out of the water during attacks, a technique called breaching. Their hunting strategy often includes attacking from below, striking prey with a force that can lift it out of the water causing instant shock and incapacitation. The Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile is an ambush predator, waiting for its prey in the water, almost invisible, until it gets close enough. The crocodile attacks with lightning speed, 
grabbing its prey with its powerful jaws and dragging it into the water to drown it. Once captured, the prey is often spun in the water in a move known as the death roll, which tears off large chunks of flesh. Crocodiles can sit still for hours, saving their energy for the right moment. The Confrontation Between the Great White Shark and the Crocodile If the Great White Shark and Saltwater Crocodile were to meet, the outcome would depend on many factors, including the size, environment, and circumstances of the encounter. In open water, the White Shark would have the advantage due to its speed and agility. However, in shallower waters or in coastal areas, the crocodile may have an advantage due to its bite force and ambush techniques. Both animals have lethal weapons, the shark with its jagged teeth and fast attacks, and the crocodile with its crushing jaw and ability to drown its prey. A showdown between these two titans would be rare in nature, but would represent a battle of the titans that illustrates the raw power and extreme adaptability of both species. Ecological Roles The Great White Shark The Great White Shark plays a vital role in maintaining the health of marine ecosystems. As an apex predator, the great white shark controls populations of seals and other prey, preventing overpopulation and ensuring ecological balance. By eliminating weak and sick individuals, the great white shark also helps maintain the genetic health of prey populations. The Saltwater Crocodile The saltwater crocodile has a similar role in coastal and estuarine ecosystems, controlling populations of fish and other aquatic animals. Crocodiles contribute to ecological diversity and maintain ecosystem health through their role as top predators, removing weak and diseased individuals from prey populations. Conclusion The great white shark and the saltwater crocodile are two of the most formidable predators on the planet, each perfectly adapted to its environment and ecological role. Although they would rarely interact in nature, analysis of these two species highlights the strength, adaptability, and evolutionary complexity that have made them apex predators. The great white shark dominates the oceans, while the saltwater crocodile dominates coastal waters and estuaries, both having a profound impact on the ecosystems in which they live. Finally, these two titans of nature remind us of the diversity and magnificence of the natural world. I greet you again, visitor, and welcome you to my YouTube channel, the only request I have of you is to watch 50 seconds, 1 minute of this video clip and according to the title you will definitely appreciate this posted clip. In the clip presented today I will talk slash explain about, Black Mamba vs Anaconda, the comparison between the Black Mamba and the Anaconda involves the analysis of two very different snake species in terms of habitat, behavior, and physical characteristics. Here is a detailed overview of both snakes and how they compare. Black Mamba, Dendroaspis polylepis. Habitat, the Black Mamba lives in the savannas and forests of sub-Saharan Africa. It prefers dry areas and can often be found in trees or bushes. Size, it is one of the longest venomous snakes in the world, reaching lengths of up to 4.3 meters. Venom, the Black Mamba is extremely venomous, having a powerful neurotoxic venom that can cause death within hours if anti-venom is not administered. The venom affects the central nervous system, leading to paralysis and respiratory failure. Behavior, it is very fast and agile, being able to reach speeds of up to 20 km per hour. It is known for its aggressive behavior when threatened, but generally avoids contact with humans. Diet, feeds on small mammals and birds, using its venom to paralyze prey before consuming it. Anaconda, Unex SPP Habitat Anaconda lives in the tropical and subtropical regions of South America, preferring aquatic environments such as rivers, swamps, and lagoons. Size The green anaconda, Unex murinus, is the world's largest snake species in terms of mass and length, reaching lengths of up to 7 meters or more and weighing over 100 kilograms. Venom Anaconda is not venomous. It is a constrictor snake that kills its prey by constriction, suffocating it to death. Behavior, it is a semi-aquatic predator, spending a lot of time in water. It is generally less aggressive towards humans than the black mamba, but can become dangerous if provoked. Diet, feeds on large mammals, birds, fish, and even other reptiles. Anacondas can consume much larger prey compared to the black mamba due to their size and strength. Direct Comparison 
Habitat, the black mamba prefers dry areas and can live both on the ground and in trees, while the anaconda is adapted for an aquatic environment. Size, the anaconda is much larger and heavier than the black mamba. Venom versus constriction, the black mamba uses neurotoxic venom to kill its prey, while the anaconda uses constriction. Behavior, the black mamba is more aggressive and fast, while the anaconda is slower and less aggressive towards humans. Danger to humans, the black mamba is much more dangerous due to its deadly venom, while the anaconda poses less danger to humans, although it can be dangerous due to its brute strength. Conclusion The black mamba and the anaconda are two very different snake species, each with their own unique adaptations to their environment. While the black mamba is known for its extremely dangerous venom and aggressive behavior, the anaconda impresses with its colossal size and constriction power. Each is a formidable predator in its own habitat. I greet you again, visitor, and welcome you to my YouTube channel, the only request I have of you is to watch 50 seconds, 1 minute of this video clip and according to the title you will definitely appreciate this posted clip. In the clip presented today I will talk slash explain about, how the anaconda snake kills you, a detailed look at a top predator, anaconda is a genus of snake that lives in the tropical regions of South America. Anacondas are considered some of the largest snakes in the world, both in terms of length and weight. The best known species is the green anaconda, Unex murinus, which can grow to lengths of over 9 meters and weigh over 250 kilograms. These fascinating creatures are top predators in their ecosystem, using brute force and specialized hunting techniques to capture and kill their prey. Anaconda Anatomy and Physiology Anaconda is equipped with a massive body and extremely powerful muscles. Its constrictor muscles are capable of applying enormous pressure on prey which is essential to its hunting technique. The anaconda also has flexible jaws that allow it to swallow prey whole, regardless of its size. Constrictor muscles The constrictor muscles are extremely well-developed and allow the anaconda to wrap its body around its prey with tremendous force. Once the anaconda secures its prey, it begins the process of suffocation by tightening its body with each exhalation of the victim. Flexible jaws, anaconda jaws are not held together by solid bone, allowing them to open extremely wide. This adaptation allows it to swallow prey that are much larger than its head. Habitat and hunting behavior. Anacondas prefer moist habitats such as rivers, swamps and lakes in rainforests. These areas provide them with ideal conditions to camouflage and move quickly underwater. Anacondas are ambush predators, meaning they hide and wait for prey to approach before attacking. Camouflage and mobility in water, the skin of the anaconda has a complex pattern of spots that help it blend seamlessly into its aquatic environment. This is often invisible until the moment of attack. Nocturnal hunting, anacondas are primarily nocturnal, hunting most often at night. They rely on their highly developed sense of smell and ability to sense vibrations to locate prey. The killing process, how the anaconda neutralizes its prey. When an anaconda attacks, it uses its sharp, curved fangs to grab its prey. Although the bite is not venomous, it is strong enough to restrain the prey. Once the prey is caught, the anaconda quickly wraps its body around it and begins to squeeze. Constriction The constriction process is incredibly effective. As the prey tries to breathe, each exhalation is followed by a stronger squeeze from the snake, gradually reducing the victim's ability to breathe. Eventually, the prey dies by suffocation or by stopping blood circulation. Prey monitoring, the anaconda maintains its grip until it is certain that the prey is completely immobilized and dead. This can take anywhere from a few minutes to an hour, depending on the size of the prey. Ingestion of prey. After the prey is dead, the anaconda begins the swallowing process. Despite its large size, the anaconda is able to swallow large prey thanks to its flexible jaws and the ability to dislocate its jaws. Swallowing stages, anaconda begins swallowing its prey by the head, as this facilitates easier passage of the victim's body through the snake's digestive tract. The whole process can take several hours, depending on the size of the prey. Digestion, digestion of a large meal can take weeks or even months. During this process, 
the anaconda becomes much more inactive, spending most of its time hidden to avoid predators. Anaconda Interaction with Humans Although anacondas are not typically a threat to humans, there are documented cases where the large snakes have attacked and even killed humans. These incidents are extremely rare, however, and usually occur when the snake feels threatened or hungry. Documented cases There are a few recorded cases of anacondas attacking humans. More often than not, these attacks are the result of accidental encounters in the snake's habitat. Prevention of attacks People living or traveling in areas inhabited by anacondas are advised to be cautious and avoid areas where these snakes are known to hunt. Understanding snake behavior and avoiding actions that could be interpreted as threatening are essential to preventing attacks. Conclusion the anaconda is a fascinating but dangerous predator that has developed incredible abilities to survive and thrive in its natural habitat. Although not typically a threat to humans, its strength and effectiveness as a predator should not be underestimated. Understanding how the anaconda captures and kills its prey provides valuable insight into the remarkable adaptations of this extraordinary snake. I greet you again, visitor, and welcome you to my YouTube channel, the only request I have of you is to watch 50 seconds, 1 minute of this video clip and according to the title you will definitely appreciate this posted clip. In the clip presented today I will talk slash explain about, Royal Cobra, the most fearful and venomous snake in the world, the King Cobra, Ophiophagus hanna, is the longest venomous snake in the world and one of the most impressive and feared creatures in the animal kingdom. It is a snake that impresses not only by its size, but also by its behavior and the power of its venom. Here are some key facts about this fascinating snake. 1. Dimensions and Appearance Length The king cobra is the longest venomous snake in the world, reaching lengths of up to 5.5 meters, although most specimens are between 3 and 4 meters. Appearance It is usually brown, green, or black in color with a lighter scale pattern on the body. The head is distinctive, being broad and well-defined, and when threatened, it raises the front of its body and extends its hood, a characteristic characteristic of cobras. 2. Habitat and Distribution Habitat The king cobra is found in tropical and subtropical forests, swamps, and bamboo forests in South and Southeast Asia. It can be found in countries such as India, Thailand, Burma, Cambodia, Laos, Vietnam, Malaysia, Indonesia, and the Philippines. Behavior it is a solitary and territorial snake. The king cobra prefers to avoid humans and other large animals, but becomes extremely dangerous if it feels threatened. 3. Diet and Food Diet The king cobra is a specialist predator, feeding almost exclusively on other snakes, including other cobras. It is also known for being able to consume venomous snakes without being affected by their venom. In the absence of snakes, it can consume lizards or rodents. 4. Venom. Venom, it is a powerful neurotoxin that attacks the nervous system, leading to paralysis and death by respiratory failure. Although its venom is not the most toxic of snakes, the large amount injected during a bite is enough to kill an elephant or up to 20 adult humans. Use, its venom is actively used in medical research, and the anti-venom is essential for treating bites. 5. Reproduction. Nesting, the king cobra is one of the few snake species that builds nests for its eggs. The female collects leaves and other plant material to make a nest in which she lays between 20 and 50 eggs. She guards the nest until it hatches, which is unusual behavior for snakes. 6. Behavior and Interaction with People Defensive behavior, when provoked, the king cobra raises its body, extends its hood and emits a loud hissing sound intended to intimidate enemies. She only attacks if she feels cornered or if she is defending her nest. Danger to humans, although encounters with the king cobra are rare, its bite is extremely dangerous. Without immediate medical treatment, the bite can be fatal. 7. Preservation Conservation status, in some regions, the king cobra population is threatened by habitat loss and overhunting, especially for their skin and venom. Despite this, the species is not considered globally critically endangered, but is protected in many areas. The king cobra is a fascinating example of the diversity and complexity of nature, being both feared and admired by humans.
It plays an important ecological role in controlling the snake population, being an apex predator species in its ecosystem. I greet you again, visitor, and welcome you to my YouTube channel, the only request I have of you is to watch 50 seconds, 1 minute of this video clip and according to the title you will definitely appreciate this posted clip. In the clip presented today I will talk slash explain about, types of intelligent snakes, an exploration of behavior and cognitive abilities, snakes are often perceived as simple and instinctive creatures, but recent research has revealed that these reptiles possess a surprising range of cognitive and behavioral abilities. Although they lack the complex intelligence of mammals or birds, certain species of snakes demonstrate behaviors that suggest a high level of adaptability and learning. In this article video, we will explore some of these species and their remarkable behaviors. Ready? To let him go. 1. King snakes, Lampropeltis spp. King snakes, or milk snakes, are known for their ability to mimic the colors and patterns of other venomous species such as coral. This form of mimicry is an example of an evolutionary adaptation that demonstrates a form of intelligence at the species level. Although this ability is not a form of individual intelligence, but rather an evolutionary strategy, it suggests a level of sophistication in how these reptiles have evolved to survive. Additionally, king snakes are known for their ability to learn and adapt to captive environments. For example, cases have been observed where these snakes have developed specific behaviors to obtain food in a controlled environment, which suggests an ability to learn and adapt to new living conditions. 2. The Royal Python, Python regius. Royal pythons are one of the most popular snake species in captivity due to their docile nature and varied colors. Not only are these snakes easy to care for, but they also demonstrate a remarkable level of intelligence. For example, royal pythons can recognize feeding patterns and become active in the presence of specific stimuli that indicate the proximity of food. Another interesting behavior observed in royal pythons is their ability to adjust their thermoregulatory behaviors. They can choose their resting places according to the desired temperature, thus demonstrating a level of awareness and adaptability to their environment. In the wild, these snakes use the same ability to avoid predators and optimize their energy expenditure. 3. Coral Snake, Microrus spp. Coral snakes are among the most venomous snake species in the world, but in addition to their powerful venom, these snakes also demonstrate an interesting form of intelligent behavior. Some coral snakes are able to adjust their hunting behaviors according to environmental conditions and the presence of other predators. These snakes also use complex color patterns to warn their potential predators of danger, suggesting a sophisticated form of visual communication. Although not known for their interaction with humans, coral snakes demonstrate intelligent behavior in the way they coordinate their movements and attacks to maximize the chances of hunting success. This ability to plan and execute precise movements is indicative of a more sophisticated intelligence than might be expected from a reptile. 4. Boa Constrictor The boa constrictor is another species of snake that demonstrates remarkable intelligence. These snakes are known for their sophisticated technique of capturing and immobilizing prey. By precisely gripping its prey, the boa constrictor applies constant pressure, adapting its technique to the size and resistance of the victim. This adaptability means that the boa constrictor can capture and consume a wide variety of animals, demonstrating an ability to assess and react to various situations. In addition, research has shown that the boa constrictor can learn from experience and adjust its hunting strategy based on previous results. This ability to learn suggests a high level of intelligence compared to other reptiles. 5. Garter snakes, Thamnophis spp. Garter snakes are known for their social skills and complex group behavior. These snakes are often seen in large aggregations during the mating season, which requires some form of coordination and communication between individuals. A remarkable aspect of these snakes is their ability to recognize and form bonds with other individuals, suggesting a form of social intelligence rarely seen in reptiles. Research has shown that garter snakes are able to recognize specific individuals within a group and adjust their behavior based on previous experiences with those individuals. 
This capacity for recognition and behavioral adaptation is a rare trait in snakes and indicates a surprising level of cognitive complexity. Sex, King Cobra, Ophiophagus hanna. The king cobra is one of the largest venomous snake species and is known not only for its impressive size and powerful venom, but also for its remarkable intelligence. These snakes are active predators that hunt other snakes and can demonstrate strategic behavior in how they capture their prey. A fascinating aspect of the king cobra is its parental behavior. Females build elaborate nests for their eggs and carefully guard them until they hatch, an extremely rare behavior among snakes. This suggests not only a form of intelligence, but also a level of empathy and protection towards offspring, which is unusual in reptiles. 7. Green Snake, Aphiadris estivus. Green snakes are known for their predator avoidance behavior, which suggests a form of defensive intelligence. These snakes use their green coloring to camouflage themselves in the vegetation, and in situations of danger, they adjust their behavior to remain invisible to predators. This ability to change their behavior depending on the context demonstrates a high level of adaptability and intelligence. Green snakes have also been observed using varied hunting techniques, adjusting their approach based on the type of prey available. This suggests not only adaptability, but also the ability to learn from experience and apply that knowledge in the future. 8. Black Mamba, Dendroaspis polylepis. The black mamba is one of the most feared and respected snake species due to its highly toxic venom and impressive speed. Apart from these traits, the black mamba demonstrates highly strategic behavior in the way it approaches its prey and avoids its predators. This snake is known for its ability to anticipate the movements of its prey and the speed with which it reacts to danger. Research has shown that the black mamba can learn quickly and adjust its hunting tactics based on previous success. This ability to learn and adapt is a clear indication of a high level of intelligence among snakes. 9. Green Anaconda, Unex murinus. The green anaconda, the largest snake in the world, is known for its immense strength and sophisticated hunting technique. These snakes are ambush predators, meaning they must carefully plan their attacks to catch their prey. The green anaconda demonstrates a level of intelligence by the way it chooses its ambush sites and by its ability to remain motionless for long periods of time until its prey comes close enough. The green anaconda is also able to adjust its strangulation technique based on the size and resistance of the prey, suggesting a form of adaptability and experience-based learning. This ability to assess situations and react effectively demonstrates remarkable intelligence for a reptile. 10. Rattlesnakes, Crotalus spp. Rattlesnakes are known not only for the distinctive sound they make with their tails, but also for their sophisticated defensive behavior. These snakes use a combination of acoustic and visual signals to warn potential predators, and this form of communication suggests a high level of intelligence. In the wild, rattlesnakes are able to adjust their hunting and defense behaviors depending on the context, thus demonstrating an ability to adapt and learn. Research has also shown that these snakes can recognize specific individuals and learn from previous interactions, suggesting a form of memory and social intelligence. Conclusion Although snakes are not often considered among the most intelligent animals, evidence suggests that some species demonstrate a remarkable level of adaptability and cognitive behavior. Whether it's sophisticated hunting strategies, complex social behaviors, or the ability to learn and adapt to new conditions, these snakes show us that intelligence can take many forms and be found in unexpected places. Understanding these behaviors not only gives us a deeper appreciation for these fascinating creatures, but also underscores the importance of conserving them in the wild. As we continue to study and understand these animals, we can discover even more about the complexity and diversity of life on Earth. Thank you.